Hi there, this is Eric Zuckerman with Download Squad, and I'm here to show you Camtasia Studio 7.1, which is, in my opinion, one of the best uh, applications for recording and editing screencasts for PC today. So I've been using Camtasia for a while now, and version 7 has some pretty cool new features. So I just have the feature list on one monitor here and the actual application on another monitor here, and I'm just going to run through some of them uh, pretty quickly just to show them off. So uh, first thing I want to get started with is that Camtasia now has an option to add cursor effects to your mouse cursor after um, you've done recording, meaning on editing. So you see I'm just moving the mouse out of the place here, and hopefully you can see doing all sorts of stuff or all sorts of uh, cursor effects. You see if I click here, I would be able to uh, select all sorts of uh, highlight effects or uh, left click. I see right click effects, so let's see here I'm just right clicking a little bit, and now I'm left clicking. And yeah, I'm just moving it. Oh, that's yeah, I'm gonna show you the cursor size a little bit, you know, increase, decrease, etc. So that's one uh, nice addition. Hopefully, uh, you will have seen that because I've added that into the video when editing. Another significant change for uh, version 7 is the playhead. It's got a new design. You now have the playhead in the middle and an end selection marker to the right. You see this red thing, and a start selection uh, to the left. And it's a very sophisticated control. It's actually pretty easy to get uh, confused with it if you don't know it very well. Because what it does, you see, uh, with the keyboard, I can now reduce and extend the selection. I'm just hitting shift and left arrow, right arrow. That's pretty basic. But when I take the playhead away and it no longer is in contact with this point, suddenly shift left does something else. I, I might have to zoom in a bit for you to be able to see it. But what it does, it now changes. This is the same keystroke that I just used to, to reduce the size of the selection from the right, from the end. It now extends it from the left. You see, I'm just looking more and more and more. And this is actually useful because it is extremely precise. It's a very, very accurate method of uh, selecting portions of your timeline, which is very handy. Uh, let's see, what else is new here? The library is new. Uh, there is a whole bunch of uh, effects. I'm going to use some of them actually here. Uh, this is some audio clips here. Let me just make a moment, like take a moment and, and play an audio clip here. Let's try. Okay, that's a three minute audio clip. That's a, a long clip. It's a nice background uh, effect. Um, there's all sorts of um, interesting callouts here. Just uh, on editing, I'm gonna try some of the callouts. So I don't know. I'm gonna point uh, to this part of the screen now, okay? And I'm gonna use a different callout to point out the transitions page. And let's uh, use another callout here. Okay. So hopefully uh, you've seen some callouts now. Um, what else is interesting? Let's see. Um, keystroke callouts, you might have seen them before already when I used the shift key. I'm not sure how it works with editing, but they basically uh, show you um, keystrokes without me having to add them manually, meaning Contagia is now aware of the shortcuts I'm using. For example, Alt F for file or Alt B and down. I'm not sure what it's tracking. I, I don't know if it's tracking uh, up and down, but it should track control. Um, I don't know. Let's uh, select a portion and hit control uh, C. Just a moment. Okay. Or control X. I just hit control X and now control V to paste it again. Uh, so you should have been able to see that. And that's done using key show callouts, which is another uh, new feature. Um, another new feature for 7 is the YouTube sharing option, uh, which kind of works. I mean, basically what it does, it interfaces directly with YouTube, so you don't have to produce the video and then upload it on two separate steps. It produces the video and then it sends it to YouTube. But it's not fully up to date because as you can see, uh, this specific video is 14 minutes and 51 seconds long, which is less than 15 minutes, which is YouTube's current um, upload time limit like video duration limit. 
But Camtasia still uh, gives me this alert. The upload may fail since the video exceeds the length allowed by YouTube. So this is no longer correct. Uh, but fortunately, it does uh, allow you to uh, proceed. Um, it gives you another uh, alert here. That's video specific. I'm just using a few features here that Camtasia feels would not be compatible with YouTube. But anyways, that's uh, how it works. I gotta say the YouTube upload did not actually work that well for me when I tried it with this particular video. I mean, it actually um, failed on upload for some reason, but uh, I managed to produce it normally and just upload it uh, regularly to YouTube. And I believe if you have a shorter video, it might work just fine. Um, okay, so we went over, well, let me show you actually some of the callouts because you've seen them in action, but you see there is these um, motion callouts that you probably just uh, noticed they're new. And what other callouts are new? Um, these were basically enhanced. These are the same callouts as before, but uh, they're nicer looking now, these. Um, so that's nice. Um, what else? The the smart focus technology, or I don't know if technology is a bit of a, you know, smart focus feature, I guess we should call it, um, actually focuses the screen automatically wherever the cursor action is. So it kind of zooms in on where the cursor is so that uh, your viewer does not have to suffer through a low resolution, tiny version and try to make out exactly what you're doing. So for example, if I kind of wiggle the mouse here, uh, Smart Focus should actually focus around this area and zoom into this area. Uh, this feature already existed in 6, but Camtasia say they improved it, and I believe them. Uh, we should be able to see the results on editing. Um, okay, I mean, there is a bunch of other stuff, but basically uh, those are the major new features. Um, the uh, the cursor effects, the new callouts, the media library, which includes a ton of stuff, highly recommended, and uh, the playhead uh, feature. By the way, uh, double clicking the playhead collapses it like so. Oh, see, it's back in one piece now. And I can extend it and double click it again. Um, that's basically that. Another feature I should mention is that actually um, cutting and pasting. Uh, let's see, for example, I select this little uh, segment of the uh, timeline. You see, I've, I've just selected both part of the um, video and a callout and some audio. And I'm just going to cut, and it actually cut the callout as well. This is new. It did not work like this before. And if I paste, a split on the timeline is required before you can paste. Do you want to make the split and then paste? Yes, I do. Okay. And as you can see, the callout is now pasted along with whatever I cut. This is very handy, and uh, Camtasia did not do this before. So that's new too. Um, this is basically it. I should mention, uh, you probably read this on the post, we're running a giveaway now for uh, 10, li 10 licenses of Camtasia. So if you're feeling lucky, just uh, comment to the post and you might get one. Thank you for watching.